and then there were two. So our friends have been here with us for like the last week, week and a half, but it's time for them to move on. We actually still have our second truck camper, so we're not going anywhere so fast. We're really enjoying this area, really enjoying the climate, and really enjoying taking it at the slower pace of life. If you've been following along or if you're new here, we usually travel at a pretty fast pace and this slower pace has been a lot nicer because setting up the truck was a lot and getting here was a lot. So we've really just been enjoying it. So we're gonna continue taking it slow for a little bit. We have some updates on the truck. We have some updates about some other things, but we're gonna be hanging around here for a little bit this morning before we get out and get to town, get moving and do all that kind of stuff. One thing we love about this campsite that we're in is it is actually right on the Arkansas River and there are some spots that literally when you open your back door you can see the water. We don't have one of those because this campsite gets so, or this campground just gets so full so fast. But we can walk to the water and get in the water and right now it is the hottest part of the day so we've been loving doing polar plunges so that's exactly what we're going to do to cool down, get in the water, get outside and all the good stuff. Putting on sunscreen here is an absolute must because we're at like, like 8,000 feet of elevation to the sun. You might be able to see it. Yes. The light. I got so sunburned the other day. We were only out there for like 30 minutes. The sun is so harsh even though the weather isn't like that hot. So like your lips get super chapped and actually still like recovering from chapped lips. But sunscreen is a must and we usually use all natural stuff. But unfortunately we're out and just like zinc and that kind of stuff. So I'm just using whatever we have. There are two different ways to get down to the river. The first way is walking on the road that you drive in on, which is what we're doing right now. And the second way is there's a little trail that goes behind all the campsites, which is really pretty because it's along the river. But there's a lot of cactus and bushes that are pretty overgrown, so. And they're super freaking sharp. Super sharp. We took that trail the other day and got a lot of scratches. So we figured we'll just take the road and it's a little bit shorter this way. These rocks surrounding the campground are just so pretty. I love it. Our 10 minute walk down to the river took a little bit more like 45 minutes to an hour because everyone who's camping at this spot is super friendly. And while it's not an official campground, there are campsites. So it's like an official designated docking campsite that's free. But here we are at the river. We've got about 12 feet here before it starts flowing pretty fast, so you can go in that deep. And it's super hot out, and the dogs are super happy to be here. They love the water. So enough talking, let's cold plunge. All right, y'all, I got my rubber duckies on. You can tell, sunburn from last time. Oh. Walk here, my feet were getting like, pretty uh, hot, but they feel much better now. Let's talk, if you remember, if you've been here long enough, you remember us cold plunging in the Arctic Ocean, we're not gonna wait that long this time. It's a lot easier. Come on, Trent, go for it. Where are you? Come on, come on. Come on. Feels good, baby. Woo! 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 Oh, 
feels so good. Right before we started recording that, we saw rafters go by, which is so fun. We've actually rafted on this exact river a couple years ago. Oh, so fun. Hoping that we see another one go by. because We're just gonna hang out here, enjoy the nice cold water, the river, the beautiful scenery, and just hang out. <laughs> oh, it's soft. On the other side of the Arkansas River, there are these tunnels that you can drive through. And we did that last time we were in the area, which is really cool. I don't remember what the height is on there. I don't know if we could still fit with our camper now, but I feel like no, because last time we were here, we had a fifth wheel, so we just took our truck through and it was awesome. But the campground that we're staying at is called Tunnel View Campground because from some of the campsites across the river, you can see the tunnels off in the distance. Don't mind the dogs, they're playing. But we are doing cold plunges and we are timing it. So I did like six minutes and we laughed at Grayson went in and now he's a little bit over four minutes. See how long he can last. I could have stayed longer. You guys did six minutes in 10 seconds. Your best time was two days ago at five and a half minutes. My best time was two days ago at five and a half minutes. I'm hitting seven minutes today. And I've already done three and a half. So I did three and a half earlier and now I'm doing whatever I'm at now, seven and a half. It feels so good. Yeah, I'm literally done. Is this a joke? Come <laughs> here, buddy. Come Grayson's here. fingers are frozen from all the cold plunges. Same. How long did you end up doing? So the first time I did like three and a half minutes. Come here, Brandon. Come here, Oreo. The first time I did about three and a half minutes. The second time I did nine minutes. And so I'm like, yo, am I going hyperthermic? <laughs> and I looked it up and some guy is trying to hit 30 minutes or something like that in a cold plunge at 33 degrees. And this water's not 33 degrees. I think it's a little bit warmer. But the breeze doesn't help. So like when you get out, there's no like cooling or getting warm immediately. So my fingers, I don't know if you can see it. How about my purple? Look at the underside, it's like straight up white. <laughs> yeah, they're like locked up. Let's get back to the camper and warm up a little bit. As mentioned earlier, we do still have the old truck camper set up and there is a little bit of an update on it. So within the first week of posting it on Facebook Marketplace, I had about 13 plus thousand views within the first week um, on the ad. So I guess in a way I kind of went viral on Facebook Marketplace. I keep, like, I keep saying that because I think it's kind of funny. I've never had that many views before. But we have had a few people come look at it, but a lot of the other people who are interested unfortunately live on the East Coast or they live you know, Pacific Northwest. And we kind of just wanted to drive it to Colorado because we knew there was better opportunity to sell it here. And so it's kind of holding us back here and only because we're not trying to drive old trucks forever because it gets expensive. And so a few more people who should be looking at it here soon, or at least they say they are. But again, it's Facebook. It's always the message, is this available? You say yes and then people just keep moving. So yeah, that's kind of the update on the truck. We're finally getting all the feeling back in our fingers and in our toes after being numb and it's actually warming up a lot. But we're gonna make some chicken quesadillas and then we're gonna head into Buena Vista and go to the gym. There's this gym that we signed up for that we signed up for last time we were here and it's a great little gym. So we're gonna make lunch and then head out of here. Here. Thank you.
The nice thing about having our second camper and leaving it behind is that we know when we get back, no one will take our spot because it looks like someone's already here because there is a camper there. When we had our friends here, there was double the campers here, so definitely no one took it, but it's nice knowing that when we get back from the gym, our campsite will still be ready for us to park in. And going up here, you go up this big hill, you can see our camper all the way down there. <laughs> Someone's camping in our spot. <laughs> us. Yeah. We just pulled up to the gym and all I have to say is this area here is so picturesque and so like video worthy and just it takes our breath away. It's kind of like Alaska, but not like Alaska. I'm saying that the feeling is similar to when we were in Alaska, um, but where we're parked, just the parking spot alone has the most beautiful view. And what we're looking at here is a 14er. You can see there's like three mountains and the one in the middle that's the tallest is Mount Princeton. And we actually hiked that in 2021. And it's incredible to think we hiked it. We want to get back up on the mountain, but I actually injured my knee. That was another update that I told you there's a few updates at the beginning of this video. One of them is the truck, obviously, and the other one is I actually hurt my knee. It's not bad. We were just doing like a little trail run with our friends. Heard a pop. I can walk on it. It doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like it's like stretching, so I'm guessing it's either a strain or like a grade one tear, I guess is what they call it. Maybe meniscus. I don't know. I'm not getting it checked. It's not that bad. But I've been taking it easy. So we go to the gym. I do think smart. But I just don't want to like go hike a 14er and go really high up and then have to like use my knees to stop like you know all the way down. It's hashtag long people problems and tall people problems. So I'm hoping it heals up soon. We were hoping to do more of these hikes while we were here, but honestly the snow's still melting up there anyways. So we might just have to come back and hike these before we leave during 14er season, which is actually July to August. It's like September, October-ish. So it's a couple of months, but being that we're still in June, snow's still up there, knees injured, but the view, chef's kiss. Someone's tired from playing in the water. Hey, Actually, Oreo. Two someones are tired. Hey, Oreo. Are you tired? <laughs> I've never seen his feet so close to his face. <laughs> After working, spending time in the sun, and working out, we're pretty tired, so we're gonna make some dinner, hang out for the night, and we'll catch back up with you in the morning. It is another super sunny but very beautiful day here in Colorado. So we're gonna go do a little walk by the water in Buena Vista. We did wanna get some hiking in, but obviously like Grayson said yesterday with his knee, we don't wanna do anything with too much elevation because obviously we don't wanna make it worse. So we're gonna head back into town and do a little walk. We just love Buena Vista so much. Driving through it, it is so cute. And we've eaten at some of the restaurants here and it's just such a fun place to be. And if you saw it spelled out, you would think that it's pronounced Buena Vista, but the locals will say it's either Buena Vista or BV. So if you come here, make sure you call it BV and you'll sound like a local. But it's funny because the population here is actually less than 3,000, but it gets so busy here. I remember when we were here a few years ago, there was definitely a lot of people, but not like it is now. It's gotten so well known, but for good reason. It is so cute and you're surrounded by mountains and the river and honestly, what more could you want for a mountain town?
The trail we're doing is called the Bridge to Bridge Loop Trail. It's like right downtown in Buena Vista. It's fairly busy, but I don't blame everyone for being out because it's beautiful outside. I love this trail so far because you're just walking right by the river the entire time. And we love that it's dog friendly. And we're actually going over the first bridge here. It's pretty awesome. Let's do it. the trail somewhere over there and we've walked around the loop this way and now we're on this side of the river but unfortunately it looks like the rest of the trail is closed they're doing some maintenance on it there were a couple spots that had some rock falls so i'm gonna guess there's probably just more of that on this side so we're gonna head back but it's beautiful regardless it seems like we are probably mostly through the loop anyways so we saw the trail maintenance signs and obviously made a u-turn and started going back down the way we came from and we came around over the bridge and then saw a lot more trail maintenance signs so i'm not really sure how we got to the part of the trail that we got to but we're taking a detour and we're going to walk through this cute little part of town We made it back to the truck and we're in the AC now, which feels so nice after being out in the sun and in the heat. And we just wanted to thank you guys for coming along and hanging out with us the last few days. We didn't get to do any of the hikes that we really want to do in the area, but luckily we do plan to be in Colorado for a little bit. Not necessarily just in this area, but in the whole state and there are so many beautiful hikes that we want to do and places we want to camp and so we're excited to bring you along for that and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up we'd really appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell to be notified when we post next and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching